you're facing some you're facing the issues as a board from both the Board of Education. You just really don't have a choice as far as the state law goes. I guess you have a choice. I, that's, I guess that was a bad way to put it. But with, uh, one choice is going to come some ramifications. Uh, you, you pay me to advise you of those ramifications, and one of them could be a, a lawsuit from the Board of Education through a writ of mandamus, which is exactly what we've discussed here and exactly what happened in the city of Memphis when, when they chose not to. So if the budget doesn't get to Nashville by October 1st, that's uh, supplies and you know the MOEs and what the LEA is required to do, you've not done it. You're going you're to risk losing the funding from the state of Tennessee, which is obviously a substantial amount of money. You did say that Commissioner Webb has some discretion to up or down this. The word discretion was that used that instead of yes or no. I have a, a uh, Attorney General's opinion, 09-70, released May 4th, 2009, that probably 10 times throughout this opinion keeps emphasizing and puts it in italics, the plain language of Tennessee Code Annotated 49.3.314c provides that the Commissioner of Education may, at his or her discretion, withhold state education funds from an LEA to enforce the conditions and requirements set forth in 49.3.301 at SEC. Therefore, the Commissioner's of Education authority to withhold state education funds from an LEA is permissive and not mandatory. So, as long as we're clear on that, this opinion. Come to county. Us as a budget committee have looked at these numbers, and I sitting on the budget committee for the last 18 years probably have never seen the delinquency rate rise. We're at 5.1, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think that give or take, that's the highest delinquency rate with a 6% delinquency built into this budget, saying we're not going to collect 100% of it. It'll be six percent backed out that we can't collect. All right, that was with the nine cents increase last year. Uh, I was concerned, but uh, something that took place here in Cumberland County just a few weeks ago that I thought would never happen: Cumberland Medical Center had to reduce staff, and that's something all of us know that that's unheard of in Cumberland County. We've been pretty fortunate, but with those things happening, we're talking about good-paying jobs when those people go home uh, to make this happen. Uh, we can impose taxes, but if we don't collect them, the schools, uh, there's, that's when the real trouble sets in because there's nowhere else to go get that money. If you can't pay your taxes, Cumberland County has no other place to go. So there may be a time coming that there's going to have to be another tax uh, flow come about, and I'm not suggesting anything right now, but things have changed with property tax. In fact, just coming here tonight, had a gentleman uh, speak to me about property tax. He says, you know, uh, things have changed. Those that, uh, this is a great retirement community. And people came here and they brought their nest eggs. They drew good interest and they lived off of that. A lot of people have different ways of retiring, 401ks or pensions or whatever. But a lot of that is driven <coughs> solely by interest rates, which you're able to draw a dividend off of. Has anybody been to the bank lately and see what you get off of money? You don't get anything. That's another thing. Even the fortunate folks are being hurt now. There's just not, the money's not coming in, nothing like we've ever, never had before. And also another thing in this budget on account of interest. A lot of things with the money with, that is held in debt service to pay the county's debt, we've reaped the benefits. I've seen as high as collecting $800,000 interest, which that always paid for the increase in interest, insurance to the county employees. Uh, it helped out with other benefits or raises, cost of living, those things were given that. All that's gone away. I just don't see right now, I'm not being negative, but I'm looking at all the things that has to weigh this in and make a decision whether to raise taxes again. It's just not out there to convince me that we need to impose more hardship on the people of Cumberland County at this time. So I can't vote for it. And I, yes, uh, well... I, you know, I, I understand what I, I understand what Lynn is saying. Uh, I kind of come from an opinion that I don't 
feel like we can risk uh, harming the schools. And we're not talking about a huge amount in this. And frankly and honestly, uh, and I, I guess I fall in the category of being an avid school supporter, but uh, I honestly don't want to take a risk with the school's budget, with school's going to start here in, in what, uh, another month, three, three, three weeks. weeks, and I, I, I just don't, I just don't feel like doing that. And uh, uh, personally, I recommend we support it and do it. From what we've heard tonight, obviously there's a discussion, and maybe needs to be ongoing discussion between the budget committee and the library. I agree with Mr. Boston. I think the, I don't really think we have a choice but to do what the state tells us we must do. However, because the other issues aren't resolved, my vote tonight will be no. I'll move to, to well, no, I don't want to do that. Any other questions or comments? Well, I'll, 